Consistent Characters has finally arrived in Leonardo AI. Let's take a look. So we're logged into Leonardo AI and we are on the main homepage here. We're just gonna click image generation. The new feature that Leonardo has added is called character reference and it's part of image guidance. And this edition came with the complete overhaul of the image generation user interface in Leonardo. How we get to it is we click this button up here next to the prompt box that is a plus sign with a little image. The first thing you see is image guidance and we want character reference. So we click that and this modal pops up and it lets us select from images we've uploaded or we can upload something new, things that we've generated, the community feed or our follower feed. So we can take any one of these images from any of these sources and use that as our source image of the character we want to replicate. So I'll just grab one of me here. Don't pay attention to all my ugly selfies here. We'll just grab that one. And for the prompt, you can really do anything. What it's gonna try and do is replicate the character, replicate the face. I found that if you use a full body image, it tries to replicate the rest, it seems like to me. I'm just gonna say a man in a tuxedo at a formal event. Now, if you look under your character here, you have this little down arrow drop down. We have three options here. We have low, mid, and high, and this is how much we want it to adhere to this character's look. So we're gonna try it all three ways. I'm gonna say low and generate. I'm gonna come back and drop this down and click mid and generate. Come back and drop it down again, high and generate. And we'll see what it comes up with, with my ugly mug. Now you can tell when you're looking at your generations what level you use by just hovering over this image guidance here and it'll say character reference low or up here on this one character reference mid and the top row is going to be character reference high. So let's start at low and see what it did. I definitely see a strong resemblance there. It's keeping that facial expression in each of these. It's also sort of keeping the angle of my face through each of these. In the or source image that we provided, I was sort of looking upward at the camera and my facial expression is definitely not a smile. A couple of these look like maybe they took off a pound or two. Then there's a couple of them that looks like maybe they added 50 pounds but maybe I'm just being particular because it is me. When we generated these three batches of images, we didn't change any of the settings over here in the left menu. So we had Leonardo Lightning as our preset. We had our style as dynamic, contrast as medium, generation mode as fast, a one-to-one -one aspect ratio, and generating four images. We're gonna leave the one-to-one -one aspect ratio and the number of images the same, but let's play around a little bit with some of these other options. Let's drop down this Leonardo Lightning and select a different preset. I'm gonna choose Cinematic Kino, which will use the Kino XL model and Photo Real. So we'll close that out. And for style, cinematic, that works. Instead of dynamic, we're gonna say we want cinematic. For contrast, we'll leave that at medium. But this time, let's change the generation mode from fast to quality. And for those that have been using Leonardo for a while, quality means we're turning on Alchemy V2. Now that's gonna make our generations much more expensive at 42 tokens each, but that's okay. We're gonna generate again. And that is on high. We'll also try this at mid, generate, and low character reference, generate, and see what it does there. So this time we'll be in reverse order with the low character reference at the top and the high at the bottom. Now, because we chose quality versus fast, these take a little bit longer to generate. That's the distinction in these generation modes. Do you want it fast or do you want it good? Sometimes fast is good enough, but sometimes you want that extra high quality and that's where waiting a few more seconds to get the high quality comes in. Starting at the top here, we have the low character reference setting. Again, I see a resemblance. I think these images are very nice quality, but I'm particularly interested in how well they replicated the character, in this case, me. And I think they did fairly well. Here with the mid, and then when we move down to high, good gosh, I need to get on a treadmill or something. It does not appear that improving that quality or changing to the Kino model 
helped with the character adherence necessarily, which is not a bad thing at all, because that means we don't have to spend a lot of extra tokens to get the same result as far as the character consistency. So I'm going to switch that back to fast so that we aren't uh, burning up a lot of tokens here. Instead of cinematic Kino, let's switch down to lifelike vision. Leave that on. I'll leave the style at dynamic and let it do its thing. I think we'll leave everything else the same here. But this particular image that I picked is showing through in the generations by the angle of it. You can see every single one of these almost, there's a few exceptions, but the, for the most part, they have sort of an up angle. I think that's just not helping things. So let me try and find a shot that's maybe a more straight on without this um, strange angle. So I'll click this drop down here and to change our image, we're not going to hit the change button. I know that sounds a little weird, right? But what the change button is doing in here, if you click this, it's going to bring up this modal and it's asking you how you want to use your source image. In other words, do you want to use the character reference, which is what we have selected now, or do you want to use it for one of these other image guidance options, like image to image, which tries to keep the color pattern and the overall look of the image, or content reference, which is going to keep the same content, it's going to try and keep the structure of the image, but it'll change the style based on your prompt. Depth to image, which looks at the depth of the source image, Pose to image, which will take any person in any pose. And then when you generate a character, it doesn't necessarily replicate anything about the, the person that you used as a source image, except for the way they were standing, which you can see in this example. Style reference ignores the original structure of the image, like what's in there, but it uses that image to style whatever you're creating based on your prompt. So this is sort of like the same artist creating an image of a different subject. Edge to image really follows the lines in the original image, but it changes the style. And then of course, text to image lets you bring in just black and white text and turn it into something really cool. I love this. You can make it look like the sign on the side of a building or, or all kinds of really interesting art but we want to stay on character reference. So we're going to close back out of here. Just remember that if we drop down our character and we say change, that's just to change how we're using the source image, not which image we're using, but how we're using it. To change this source image, we need to click the trash can here and delete this image. And then we come right back up to our little plus image and say character reference, and we pick another image. So we'll just grab this first one here. It does seem like the face part is straight on. We'll see how that works. And let's do something different with our character. Why not? That's the fun of this whole thing, right? I'm just going to say portrait of a doctor and let's see what it comes up. A doctor, I am definitely not. So we'll set the first one on low character reference, generate. And then of course we're going to do a mid generate and a high generate. So starting with our low, I think it did a pretty good job. It seems like it did better with this goofy image of me than it did with the last one. I've got some strange bones apparently happening out there in my forearms, but that's all right. Here I think my forehead has turned into a five head, but I don't know, maybe it is that big. All right, let's see how it did with the mid character reference. Very nice, I'm framed in there. This one, I think my thumb is going the wrong direction, but that's something that could probably be fixed pretty well with the alchemy upscaler. All right, now let's see how it did with high character reference. So many lines. If you're creating a story that needs to have a consistent character, I think for the most part, these would pass. I don't know about you, but I'm curious what would happen if we animate me. So I'll leave that character reference on high. I'm just gonna generate one of those with anime. I'm going to switch down while we're at it and let's see what happens if we use this for concept art. Let's do another one with illustrative albedo. We've, we'll try a portrait version and let's also, what the heck, use the stock photography preset. Oh, we have some images popping up here. Here is what we came up with for me as an anime doctor. I don't know if these are identical to my likeness, but I will say once we've generated them, they seem to be very consistent amongst each other. 
This row is the Albedo base or Albedo base, however you pronounce that. Those are bearing a strong resemblance to me and looking pretty good. Next up is where we did the illustration, the Albedo base illustration preset. This row here is where we did the Portrait Perfect, which is Leonardo Kino XL with the Portrait Cinematic style. The presets are a combination of the image generation model and a style that combine together to come up with certain styles and looks, which are then become the presets. Here's the stock photo preset that we used, and that uses Kino along with the stock photo style. A little teethy here, but otherwise pretty good. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm sick of looking at me, so I'm gonna get rid of those, and I'm gonna come right back up here to my little plus image. I'm gonna say character reference, and let's go to the community feed and see if we can find something here. All right, let's grab this good looking lady right there. I just put in a woman as the prompt and then I'm gonna go over here and click the little magic AI button and say improve prompt. We were left on stock photography, so let's generate with that. And let's try some other models while we're waiting. We'll just go backward, portrait perfect, generate with that one. We'll say lifelike vision, generate with that one. We'll try Leonardo lightning. Let's do an illustrative. How about a cinematic? And for the anime enthusiasts, we'll add anime. So let's start down here and see what it's come up with. To refresh our memory, this is what our source image looked like. So here she is in the stock photo version. Uh, these are incredible portraits. Uh, we've got to fix her finger there. It appears to be broken. But again, I think the Alchemy Upscaler would probably take care of that. Another little finger issue going on there, but overall very good looking images. Our Kino Cinematic did very well as well. I think these all really look like the same character that we supplied. Looking up through these other models that we used, uh, they all have their pros and cons, really not even pros and cons, just differences in style, which is exactly what they're for. But I would say these are all the same character. The wind must be blowing in the photo studio on this one here. And then lastly, our anime version. I think the anime version is probably the least consistent with the rest of these characters and the character we supplied, but the similarity is definitely there. Now, if I've lost you by going through all these different versions and models, don't be overwhelmed. Let's clear everything out here. Go back to Leonardo Lightning. We'll leave everything else the way it is. All we have to do is on the image generation page, click the plus button, select character reference, pick the image you want to use as your character, either from your uploads, your generations, community feed or follower feed, and you can upload an image if it's not already in there. Confirm, type your prompt, select whether you want low, mid or high character reference and click generate. Not complicated at all. All the other things that we explored are things that you can tweak and play with and dial it in just the way you want to get the image you're looking for. And there I am, Cowboy Bob, yeehaw. If you're not using Leonardo AI yet, there's a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, so if you end up going with a paid plan at some point in the near future, I may receive a small commission and I certainly appreciate it. However, there is plenty to do in the Leonardo free plan. And depending on when you're watching this video, for a few days after the announcement and release of Image Guidance V2 and the character reference feature, Leonardo is making a lot of their paid features available to free users for a few days. So you might get to take advantage of those for a few days as well. If there are specific things that you'd like to know how to do in Leonardo or any other creator tool, or there's other creator tools you'd like me to explore with you, let me know in the comments. I'm always up for new things and I love to explore the tools and features that are interesting to you.